So I'm going to mention a few things sure. which I know a lot of Christian people still um, regard as basic fundamentals of um, Christianity. Of the Christian faith. Of the Christian faith. Yeah. Um, first of all, the virgin birth. Mm -hmm. Um, many people have been criticised for doubting <laughs> that uh, your mother was a virgin. Yeah, uh, which I find quite amusing. He, he, uh, so it's, it's obviously not a, there's no truth in, in the verse. So that was another attempt. No. And previous, previous people in history had been accorded the same had been accorded, honour, yeah. shall we call it. So this was to equate you with them. Yes, okay. yes. And, um, yeah, my mother obviously had sex with my father, Joseph, uh, just as everybody else comes into the world, is the same way I came into the world. Yeah. Um, so there was, there was no difference whatsoever. Okay. Mm. Now, the, crisp, the Christmas songs talk about a perfect child. Were you a perfect child? Um, yes, I was. Um, how that happened, um, I am still not completely... Um, like obviously it happened at the time of my birth um, and I can explain the process of what happened but um, but I'm still not completely aware of why God made that choice but but so, what happened at the time of my birth after the umbilical cord was separated God cleared away all of my parental emotional injuries from me that was my next question <laughs> how did that not because you were saying you say today that a lot of our parental emotions are there before we we're actually born yes yeah and and we have to work through those yeah but you didn't have to work through that no however that didn't mean that i didn't have some stressful experiences through my life because of their law of attraction my parents law of attraction in other words their mm -hmm. soul condition affected different experiences which meant at times I was attacked and I was uh, sometimes abused and sometimes beaten sometimes other things would occur to me as well mm -hmm. but I didn't have a personal feeling that it was my fault in any way or, or a poor sense of self-worth so one of the things that happened from a very young age was that I had a good sense of my own worth or my own self. In fact, I had a much better sense of my own worth or self than I currently have with mm. the injuries that I currently uh, am still carrying. So, um, so for me to assimilate truth after that was quite easy. Um, I could see when everyone around me wasn't right, when there was an emotion that they had in play that caused them to think or feel a certain way that I didn't think or feel. Yeah. Mm. And okay. so in that regard, um, I was basically cleared of parental sin, if, if you want to use that term from, as a biblical term, or parental emotional unloving experiences, which is the same thing. Anything out of harmony with love is, is sin. And I was cleared of that sin or that disharmony with love, but that didn't stop events happening that weren't very loving towards myself still yeah. occurring in my life, which I had to allow myself to feel and deal with as they happened. But you weren't the one playing up in the family. No. Your, no. Mo your mother was very lucky. <laughs> my, yeah, my mother was often, often viewed me as a lot of sort of like the ideal son um, in the first century. And, and I suppose in a lot of way, I was the ideal son. Um, Ironically, my mum now has had very similar emotions too. Um, even with the injuries that I had, she's often felt that I was the ideal son as well. But in the first century, my mother had the didn't have an awareness of why that was the case. She just thought mm. I was a good boy, yeah. basically. And everyone around basically didn't notice much difference in me, aside from the fact that I was gentle um, and a good boy, uh, as, as you would term it nowadays. Yeah. And I didn't, uh, I always tried my best with everything that I did and, and I wasn't ever violent um, or angry, which, mm -hmm. which was very unusual back then. Um, but it wasn't something that everyone really noticed because they were totally involved in their own life and, and as most people are now, a bit self-absorbed in their own life and so they don't really notice. So if you were picked on as a kid, like all kids are, yep. you walked away. Yes, yeah. Um, I walked away and I also understood the emotion in the other person as to why they were picking on me. I didn't take it on as a self-blame or a mm -hmm. self-hatred or I didn't feel like I had to defend it because I had a fairly good viewpoint of myself so I didn't feel like I had to defend the attack. Um, 
and so a lot of people around me thought that was weakness um, and during my childhood that was often played upon mm-hmm. um, they thought that because I was accepting of these particular things that they called that weak my, my own father was often quite concerned about how weak I was and he did certain mm-hmm. things to toughen me up as a result yeah. <laughs> didn't call you Sue or anything <laughs> <laughs>